everybody, my name is Irina and you're watching Russian Reaction and Reviews. How's my new haircut? Not haircut, I just so busy to go to hairstyles and I have no bank for now. What do you think about it? <laughs> okay, so today's video we have, uh, let me, let me see, stolen Valor or Valor, I guess so, compilation. And for my understanding, I made my research, of course, and this is the stolen uh, uniform from soldiers. And I know that we have in Russia a lot of situations like that too, and I heard not even once. And I called my special guest for today, I know how much you like <laughs> Russian voices, and I called my... who you think I called to? <laughs> You'll know a little bit later. So, and I get a Russian opinion about this uh, situation. So, let's watch. There's this piece of shit that's walking around saying he's in the army. I'm up here at the Flying J in Gretna, Nebraska, and this guy swears up and down he's in the freaking army. Look at him, he's apes the fuck up. He's got his unit patches on his freaking arm, both his arms. He's got no name tag. No name tag uh, on the back. I just, I just got home. He just got home. He's got a freaking. Let's see your belt. Let's see your belt. Look at that crap. Ate yeah, the fuck th up. This is my shit. Yeah, ate you the know, fuck up. Looks like a suit. So, um, I understand that it's not right to walk around with uh, in like a uniform, like an army uniform, especially to lie about it. But I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Because, like, what's in America you have to get, like, what can you get? You have to call the police or what What you have to do about it? Sandwich. No, it doesn't. Look at him. Freaking look how his, his cover's pulled down on top of his head. No name tag. Yeah. Look at him. Look at his name tag. Where's your name tag at? On the back of your cover. Thomas. I got you. No. Okay, then where's your name tag on your, where's your name tag on your freaking unit? Thomas. No, where is it? I know what you're, what you're telling me your name is. What unit are you with? He's second liberal, second battalion. Yeah. Where, where is that? Where is that out of? Out of Fort Bragg. Okay. Who's your commander? Just, General Mark Meeks. What's his name? General Mark Meeks. General. General Mark Meeks. General Mark Meeks is your commander. At your unit. Oh, you're a freaking piece of work. Look yeah. at you. I think the regular person like me, I couldn't be able to understand it, right, that he like stole it or whatever, but if you know about it, I think it's like, it's not good, especially if you wasn't in the army, hmm, it's interesting, it's interesting why people does it, like, for what? Okay, so get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. What do you need uh, money for? Thank you very for? much for, you much for serving. So he hasn't, he's not a ser he's not serving, yeah, piece of shit. You're not serving. Black boots is authorized. No shaving profile. No haircuts. No deployment patch, but you got that badge on. No, it's just... Corporal. It, it, it is against Look, the law. It, it's against the law, bro. I see you have dog tags on, but where's your cat card at, though? Because I know black boots are not authorized. Shaving profile. You have to have your beret on. Huh? And no deployment patch, uh -huh. but you have things saying that you got shot at. Yeah, if, if you were a ranger, you wouldn't even waste your time talking to this. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. And what's your I just don't understand why. Like, what you want to show. Is it like so... I don't know. Like, why? I just trying to understand, like, you want to look cool or what? Where born at? You don't got airborne? How about that? Or how about that? Or so where's your cat? Those are just pictures, bro. Or that. Where's your cat? Hey guys. Uh, it's weird. I live in this neighborhood, and uh, I seen this soldier walking around, or what it seems to be a soldier, and I'm pretty sure that's stolen valor, right there. Uh, he walked through here a couple times with uh, some dog in a fucked up uniform. I'm trying to catch him. Uh, I don't know what he's up to. Looks pretty suspicious. You got a minute? What's going on, man? 
Uh, nothing much, eh? How you doing? No, I'm doing great. Yeah, hey, thanks for your service, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, so you got your dog there. You're in the army, or? Yeah, I'm in the army. Yeah? Full time. Full time? Full time. Yeah, I don't know anything about the army. I mean, I got people, I got a lot of friends that served. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit about it, or? Yeah, we're out there to make assure your safety and that no enemies <laughs> come to America. Okay. If the army person can like make sure that the neighborhood is safe because for my understanding is the police job, no? I just maybe I just know not not know not much about it. Oh yes, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. What's up with the dog? Well, that's my standard issue um canine. It's um trained to um smell Standard issue canine, really. <laughs> hey, where are you going, man? Come back. Got more questions, bro? No, yeah, I'm just curious. What, what's, yeah. what's going on? With, uh, with what? This, well, <laughs> I mean, I've seen my friends with their uniform, and yours yeah. looks weird. What's, <laughs> I mean, what's up with the flag right there? Oh, this flag is uh, the American flag. <laughs> okay. It's the American flag. Why? Why do you have two? You have you have a you have this one over here. Well, this one got I got it when I joined. So this one I got it when I was deployed. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, I was out there. Where's now. your rank? I know you gotta have a rank yeah, somewhere. I got a rank right here. That's your rank. What rank yeah. is that? It's a uh, sergeant first class. Sergeant first class, really? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of fake people out there, you know? Yeah, you know, that's why I'm out here to put those fake assholes in their spot. Put Whenever those I fake? See one, I walk up to them and say, hey, what's up, bro? You better <laughs> take that shit out before you get knocked the fuck out, you know? Yeah, because I hear they go up in stores and try to try to get discounts yeah, and shit. try to go up stores and get... Oh, I got it. So if you're in your uniform, you can get some sale, like discount, right? Okay, I'm not sure it's worth it. It's like... Hmm. Discounts, I'm talking about discounts. And I'm actually on my way to... Uh, he looks nervous. Starbucks, you're getting on... Uh, Soldier discount because you know the drinks are right there. You know, they're incredible. I don't know if you ever had ice cold coffee. I mean, you earned you it. Try it. Yeah. So they give you the discount. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. All right, Sergeant First Class. Well, take care of yourself, I guess. Yeah. Peace out. I've seen that before. It's Tampa night. Tampa night. You're in Tampa night. I went wrong to the I'm just curious, can you just tell me what your medals are from right yeah, to left? I'm not going to tell you what my medals are, I'm going to get something, some refreshments. Okay? It's only going to... <laughs> this is too much if it's not true. Like, I, I don't know, maybe some of this situation, like, it wasn't... Like, I mean, maybe they was a real soldier, but maybe I'm, I'm wrong because I know nothing about it. But if this not true, this is too much. This is like, why? You did none of that. <laughs> Why trying to get like some? Well, one second. No, no. no I'm not going to tell you what the medals are. Just say it's on the class what the medals are for. So what, what, what do we have here? Time for this, yeah? Training center? No. I, I think no. my opinion. You should come out once a year. On the We've got a medal here that says combat Sorry. stress. I said yeah, I, I suffer from. I, I'm. A, you don't get a medal for having PTSD. No, you don't get a medal for having PTSD. There's a medal, now sponsored. Okay. For anybody with serious injuries resulting from the service, in my case, my serious injury. The Americans have that. That's called the Purple Heart. The yeah. British, the okay. British Army don't have a Purple Heart. Do you think heart. I made that medal myself? That medal is available to anyone who suffers serious injury. In On my, eBay. In my case, that's psychological. So wh why do you have your, your, your normal UK service medal below these medals? Well, I can't get into that right now. Okay. Why have you got a Maltese cross? Into your chest. I'm not going to answer these questions. I've told you what I've told you. Now I'm going to get my. This is crazy, because people are going on the war, on the war, on the war. So I mean, like to kill another people for to getting these medals and whatever. And those people who has nothing to do with this is like, this is shame. This is embarrassing, definitely. Refreshments and that stuff. Now, what name is on the rim of your medal? If you don't mind me asking. Are all those medals the same? No, same name? What name is on the General. rim? 
What medal? On the rim. At this one. Your name, your name, rank, and number will be on the outside. Underneath every British Service medal, you've got your name. Say that. I've got my glasses. But somebody got some good eyes, so right? Well, you should be your own name. You shouldn't have to read it out loud. All right. So, guys, did you ever met some people like that? I'm gonna call my father and ask. My father was in the military for four years. It's like was um, military, not college, like military university and i'm sure they have like the same situation so let's see папочка расскажи пожалуйста что будет если лицо не принадлежащее российской армии будет носить форму i just ask my father what's gonna happen with person who is wearing army uniform but doesn't belong to army to russian army and what's the punishment for it? Если гражданское лицо носит военную форму со знаками отличия, а именно шевроны петлицы, определяющие принадлежность к роду войск и воинской части, и погоны, определяющие воинское звание военнослужащего, то это недопустимо и преследуется по закону. So we had a long conversation about it, but in general he said that the person who is wearing uniform or like different stickers belongs army. Uh, they're gonna pay some money uh, if somebody go to police if somebody gonna call to police so thank you so much for watching this video with me I'm a little bit in shock like I'm it's it's not right and I feel it and I feel it in my chest and I'm like this shouldn't be like that thank you so much see you tomorrow